Damn. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch. I'm here with the homie, Kai. And my brother, Ooch. And we are back again. Once again. How y'all doing today? Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, boys and girls, Dragon Ball fans. Yes, it is that time for another episode of the full power podcast yes i figured i would throw that uh voice effect in there because i i have that ability and i just never did it for any of these episodes but uh brother Uch, how you doing i'm all right you know vibing 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 yeah mr kai how about you how you doing today i'm chilling i actually you know i, I fuck with this chapter so mm, pretty yes. good Yes, indeed. So, uh, obviously, you could tell from that little uh, start there that we will definitely be going over this chapter today because, of course, it just came out. So, that will most likely be our topic of discussion, just going on, going over everything that happened there. Unfortunately, for like, I think the second week in a row, we've been hyping this guest up, but they just keep getting hit with all this life stuff now like they're fully recovered from uh their covid so that's good on on them i'll give you i'll give it a couple dings right there but unfortunately um they cannot make this episode because they're now helping a relative move into a new home which is not too far from his um so hopefully maybe next week or the week after we'll see what happens um but yes we're neither here nor there we have chapter 79, Gas vs. Granola, to go over. So let's get right into it. All right! So we pick up right where we leave off from last chapter. I always almost say last week, but, you know, then it's, it's, a, it's a monthly. And uh, Elik is having a sip of his wine, and he's like... He, he, they're far from the fight. Like, they're nowhere near this, John. Okay. And he's like, oh, I'm guessing Gas is now the mightiest in the universe. Like, and he's got a little smirk on his face. So, you know, this is... You know this dude is up to something, right? And he don't want to be anywhere near this fight right now, of course. And he, he, he puts it out there that besides, he has one more urgent errand to handle. So... This is one of the first of many questions I'm sure we're going to have going forward with this arc, let alone this chapter. Um, and then uh, we're back to where we really left off with Vegeta leaving um, a sensu bean for Granola. Granola takes it, noms on it real quick. And, you know, this is like, you know, this is he's getting his uh, sensu bean cherry popped because he's like he's brand new to it. So he's never experienced it before. And he's like, oh, what is this? One moment I was down for the count, and now I'm. This is incredible. And Vegeta tells him to go on, don't waste the sensu bean. Instantly, this guy goes from Vegeta straight in front of Manito to defend him from getting hit, and then he officially challenges Gas to the one-on-one. -on -one. Which, funny enough, Gas was literally like, looked like he was about to freaking poke Goku's head off at this point with his spear and even gas recognizes that his energy was restored so of course he was healed obviously because of the sensu beam and then manaito funny enough and i forgot all about this thing he gives oatmeal back to <laughs> granola funny enough right granola and oatmeal i'm pretty sure that that, that was intentional from toriyama um that 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 was his eyepiece where he uh, was almost at the same time kind of like his uh, Jarvis. He's like a little computer voice guiding him, giving him assistance and whatnot. So he puts it back on. And then he powers up to what I like to call Super Granola. And you can tell from the eye pattern thing that he's got going on. It's not really a pattern. It's just like a, I guess, a different shade. Um, and... And gas, gas is aware. He, he he looks at it, and he he smiles, and then he literally tosses Goku to the side. He's not worried about no freaking Saiyans no more. Now he's gonna try and take on the other strongest in the universe right now. And so then they go at it, 
um and funny enough they kind of for a little bit they're going like back and forth and there's a couple times where granola did almost get a couple good shots in on them and when i say shots i'm literally talking about finger guns okay i'm not talking about just you know the saying you know body shot no no my man has the finger guns pew pew out here okay and uh, of course this time around gas has shields ready to defend against but either way this fight that was going on between these two it looked like and it felt like it was kind of more in granola's favor and i and when i was reading this i was like huh that's interesting because i'm pretty sure we all thought that just by off of you know whoever made the wish at you know the more more recent time which was in, in fact gas that they would you know therefore be the strongest or stronger or whatever i don't know we were kind of going back and forth on that as well but uh either way they you know gas is is is, is keeping up with him he's throwing all sorts of different types of weapons he's throwing kunai knives so my man not only is shout outs to um uh the freaking creati from my hero academia shout outs to naruto we got freaking kunais over here literally he's throwing a freaking huge giant like ball and chain that exploded and then like even after like panels later on he's he's throwing like demon wind shurikens at this freaking dude i thought it was godlike but before we get to even that part granola he caught all those kunai so like this is at the at this point i was like oh, okay something's gotta give it's definitely more than just this freaking sensu bean thing because this dude he is he is really giving it to gas right now he's almost one up in him so then goku asks vegeta like oh how's granola holding up and vegeta says as well as his opponent or better and that's what that 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 the dialogue confirmation is definitely what does it for me because i'm just like bro how is this happening but you know we we're only like halfway through this chapter at this point right so the fight ensues they're still going back and forth trading blows and granola gets a couple good shots on him and vegeta and goku are like actually very surprised like to the point where gas like actually gets hit knocked back into like a tree and i forget the other two um heater character names um but the female one i'm sorry yeah, yeah, yeah the female one was actually like she had like an eyebrow raise she was like like what how is this happening right now and vegeta then explains gas only achieved the title of strongest a bit ago and goku's like oh yeah so he can't make full use of the power just yet just like granola at first and then vegeta's like i suspect so and then i you know when they say that and this is where I'll, I'll i'll let you guys chime in before we i i go any further at this point i was like you know i'm kind of getting sick and tired of this whole let's get something new oh we don't know how to fully they don't know how to fully use it yet so we can take full advantage i mean it's it's a real reason but we've heard it so many times i feel like in recent time that i was just like rolling my eyes like were, were, did you feel the same way kai or how, how did you feel about it because i know you read the chapter you already know dragon ball and its repetitiveness <laughs> yeah yeah so Brandon, you have anything you want to throw in there or you want to just hear what the how, what the rest of the what happened in the chapter i'll just keep it rolling okay <laughs> Dude, they they have a formula and they are clearly sticking to it yeah it's it's really a formula like that is there's no way to there's there's no other way to word it it is exactly a formula this is how formulas are it's a b c d's nuts you know what i'm saying and that's just how it goes <laughs> anyway so the of course the fight ensues again and uh this time granola has a sword or i'm sorry gas has a sword granola kicks him gas is like noticeably taking some some damage to the face and then vegeta even goes on to say the gap between them is evident this is granola's chance goku says but why is gas sticking to just that one move using those strange weapons and vegeta says hard to say perhaps he gained that ability from the wish to become the strongest and then this is where it starts to get a little interest a little more interesting 
because Manito, see Manito's role in this entire arc right now is it's he's to lay down the facts. Yes, exactly. To lay down the facts, the confirmation, and to just provide that bit of knowledge that guarantee that no 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 he's so just to prevent any like you know premeditated thoughts or or uh like just just predictions he hits everybody with the actually he is the actually yes. character yeah. right now okay and he goes nope gas has always used those weapons he created out of nothing so there this is where i start to think my brain starts doing its thing where i'm like oh so but we'll get to that so i'll 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 talk about that uh once we're through with this so he he whips out the demon wind shurikens he's charging at granola he tries to he doesn't even try to throw it at him he tries to just go up to him point blank and yo this guy granola is correct he catches it with his thumb and rest of his fingers like right in place it stops the movement does it for both of them and kicks gas again straight to the gut and he goes why why rely solely on that arsenal of yours and then that's when the female heater goes i get it gas wants to beat granola with his own strength and that's when i another not even an eye roll my head just cocked over and i was like oh my god i'm like now it makes sense this dude wasn't even using his new freaking power this entire time which you thought he would have been but no he wasn't so now well the, the the fight ensues a little bit more and then granola says didn't that wish give you new powers to use and then the heater goes it ain't that gas can't wield his newfound power the right way he just doesn't wanna i'm like wow i feel like this is a little bit of a little bit of new to to the dragon ball you know vibe and everything dragon ball because i don't think we've really had a character like this where they get something brand new like i feel like the closest thing you could even stretch the comparison to is back when goku and vegeta fought when vegeta went majin and goku could have went super saiyan 3 this entire time or that entire time but he didn't right that's the stretch comparison but uh clearly as far as you know power scaling goes this is way beyond that right so granola then says if this is all you've got then you're done for and right when he goes for the punch this is where gas turns on the freaking oh man this this shot that i'm looking at right now this freaking guy stops his fist with his aura and then blasts him away point blank and yo he freaking he annihilated granola at this point and but the but this is the most interesting part though is that gas was ticked off that he had to use that and granola's like i knew it you were holding back your new strength and gas was like i consider this a failure on my part i had hoped to kill you with a technique i've honed and i'm not gonna lie I gotta give props to this dude gas because again this is a character that's that is written in a way that we have not seen in dragon ball so whenever they whenever they throw us a bone aka some new type shit in in all of this stuff i gotta give it credit because damn it feels refreshing to have some newfound greatness to appreciate because this dude is 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 slowly becoming one of my newer favorite villain characters overall like i just I, i'm just really loving this guy so they continue fighting gas or i'm sorry granola tries to keep shooting him with more finger guns but this guy gas instant transmission it's not just like how you know it's an anime trope i said this in my reaction where anytime you see a character just move mad quick from one space to another everybody instantly calls it instant transmission you know probably <laughs> to you know just pay homage to goku because that's you know kind of where it comes from you would think right but this dude does it and i said it like oh yo he just didn't just to say it but i didn't mean it i look literally one panel down goku says instant teleportation i said wow he really just did it like for real for real 
OD. So Granola was like, Ugh! and then Gas says, any abilities you have gained are now mine as well. And that's another bit of interesting point that I'm sure we're going to talk more about in detail. Let's just get through this. We only have a few more pages left anyway. He gut checks Granola and he goes, he whispers and he says, my power is far superior to yours. I just hope they get Johnny to voice freaking gas. Let me just say that this guy, I could just hear it. I could hear some sort of maniacal low type of voice and he could do him. But anyway, that's just me being me. Anyway, he knocks, he, yo, this guy, he sends freaking Granola back like it was Team Rocket blasting off away. He sends him so far into the mountains. Goku and Vegeta are freaking flabbergasted. And when he does that, Vegeta goes, that looked like destruction. Goku's like, he never needed those extra weapons. And then Granola, and then Gas is like, he looks at his face, he's like, I see now. So he's starting to like piece together like how strong this, this power really is right now. That all these hacks that he has on himself right now. And so Ga or Granola comes back up from wherever mountaintop that he was at, takes off his jacket. My man got the freaking uh, overall straps on. And he's like, I never thought taking you down would actually be that easy. Well, go on. What can the universe's strongest muster? I've got plenty of fight left in me. So then he comes back, probably doing the same instant transmission. And then at this point, this is where I feel like they're truly on like even playing field. They are literally exchanging blows. They're instant transmissioning each other's instant transmission. And Goku and Vegeta are just watching. And he's like, are they for real? They're both using instant teleportation like it's nothing. And I struggled to, so hard to learn that move. And even so, they're going back and forth. But at this point, Granola seems to have a little bit more of an edge over gas when, when trying to use this technique. And he's even getting to the point where he is even able to predict where gas will instant transmission to. And then Vegeta is the one that notices, like it's no big deal. No, take a closer look. He goes, gas isn't familiar with that move. He boasts speed and power, yes, but have you ever seen instant teleportation used so sloppily? And so then they show a, a show a shot where this dude is literally like all over the place in like a bad way. He's not doing it crisp or clean. This dude's actually being mad messy because you know, the whole, they just attained this. They don't really know how to use it type shit. Welcome to Dragon Ball. How can we help you? Okay. And so this is the last page and Goku's like, you're right. And Vegeta's like, if nothing else, Granola wields it more accurately. He still stands a chance. And that is the end of the chapter. So, first and foremost, Brandon, what are your thoughts? I mean, shit. Let Kai go first. I'm still thinking. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I just figured I'd let you go in there first. Go okay, ahead, Kai. Let's hear it. Let's hear I it. Need, I need, I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, so my thoughts, my thoughts on this are that, um, like going through it, this shit reminded me a lot of the cell arc. Oh, mm. okay. Okay. This shit reminded me so much. Let me, let me bring in a couple points here. You, uh, what'd you call them? Demon wing shurikens or something? Demon wing shurikens. Yes. Demon wing shurikens. All right. Granola clapped that shit. He held it. And that reminded me of when, uh, Gohan did that to the destructo discs. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Good callback. So I saw, yeah, I saw that and I was like, damn, okay. The sp c c come on, come on. The spamming of instant transmission. Cell and Goku did that shit back and forth, back and forth, behind each Yo, other. Yo, you're, yeah, okay. Great callback. Okay. Okay. So, I, so now I want, I want the voice of Cell to be on gas because this shit's too, <laughs> this shit's too fire right now. Uh, this shit needs to fit. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. I will accept that I'll for accept those that reasons. Answer. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Because we were, we were already talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. No, we definitely were. That is, uh, those are some great points. Because how the hell did, wait, how did this shit end again? The it, chapter? The chapter ended with v Vegeta saying that Granola still has a chance against gas. Ah, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. That's, the, that's interesting. 
<laughs> do you have do you have your thoughts formulated or are you, are you still landing Kai Rock? Yeah, no, no, I can keep going if you got more. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I'll say I'll say one of the one of the I guess one of yeah one of the main reasons I like this arc is because we got to see you know Dragon Ball so goddamn repetitive. So I love to see them do some new shit, and this to me was new enough to please me. I guess this was really mm. cool to see like two villains, two. I mean, at, at the moment they're two main villains, unfortunately to say, because right now they're both being gassed up they're both strongest in the universe that's kind of a problem and i i really like i've said it you know a couple times here and there but i really like what the manga is doing right now with the um the idea of villains getting their hands on the dragon balls you know like easy peasy like it's nothing just wishing to be the strongest in the universe and you know goku makes that statement like damn it i trained my ass off trying to learn this in transmission y'all just popping it off like it's nothing hey like okay yeah. like I love to see it because it's like, yeah, Goku, that's a reminder that if you don't, you know, if you don't check out your universe, all that training, all that time you and Vegeta spend, that ain't shit. They can just wish up to be the strongest. They can wish you dead. They can do whatever. So you better watch those Dragon Balls. Mm -hmm. Got a point. That's, that's, <laughs> hey, how's it feel, Goku? Now you know how, how Vegeta felt when he was training with Trunks and my man just went Super Saiyan because he couldn't go to the damn freaking get a toy or whatever it was in dragon ball z yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah what else is that is that uh, that's, all, that's all you wanted to point out so, so far uh i definitely agree with manito being the actually man thank you um actually man <laughs> he is 100 percent is um i like that i like that goku and vegeta both took this whole chapter they just took a back seat they just they were just watching yeah, that, that was a I, that was more of a question, no more so than an assumption or whatever the case that I had, honestly. I okay, like, so why why are you questioning it? Nah, cause it's just, it's interesting seeing Goku and Vegeta have a backseat, like finally from 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 a listening standpoint, cause I don't read it, so like like I can only kind of think visually in a sense, like in my own mind. But they literally spent this whole chapter watching, like just watching yeah. the fight. So, but it's like it's like now now the question arises of like when slash will they get back in the fight right and like and how are they gonna get back in the fight like are they gonna like gain some new power or are they just gonna get washed again or be like a support to granola since he's like the next strongest or the strongest you know uh -huh. what i mean uh-huh so i mean like th this is this is like it could essentially be like another Jiren fight, but Jiren or Gas is Jiren in this case scenario, and Granola is fucking Goku Ultra Instinct, <laughs> and then like you know Goku and Vegeta will essentially be like the support to to Granola to to possibly finish off the job. You, you kind of get what I'm saying? I do. And yeah, no, no, I boys, I just wanted to point out how nice is it when they're not involved. Mm. Oh, it's great. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, like, I just find it hilarious when all the things and the talking points that we always have in these freaking, these conversations, they always go back to the root of, they gotta let these dudes go. They gotta let them just play a coach, take a bench, take a seat take a vacation just 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 let other characters rock be their support you know let them let them do the do you know what i'm saying and it's and it just and it just makes it that much more interesting because we already know goku and vegeta's story we know their come up we know what they're what they're doing now and they're at the like tippity top of the freaking mountain they're literally training with higher beings with with immortal beings you know what i'm saying like that's it doesn't get any better than that so at this rate even i mean even with this situation i mean it's kind of ridiculous how we have two characters which of course i did call that this was eventually definitely going to happen was that we have two characters that are now proclaimed the strongest in the universe fighting against each other so now it just comes down to who's the the, the top one and from the sound of it, it sounds like whoever is more used to the newfound power might obviously have an advantage, especially when the other one 
is choosing not to use it but that is evident because with just how gas was acting towards the end of this very chapter when he was starting to finally come to and just accept that maybe he should just fucking do it and use it it might you know help him or whatever but he does seem to have some sort of honor you know for himself like some self-respect like he wanted to actually do this shit with his own thing which brings me to my first point that i wanted to bring up i now can officially say and i feel like that when gas transformed into his dreadlock version right the one that we're seeing him in now the one where he went down south for the for vacation the caribbean right man right that this version i feel like that has nothing to do with the wish i think that that is his power up i feel like that is his own shit that he does so he goes from this kid boo size to super boo size and and the fact that he the, throughout this this fight since the last chapter or whenever he made this debut with his new form it this this chapter confirmed that he wasn't even using the new the the, the new wished power up until that very moment so what do you, what do you guys think what, what, what do you think about that mm, not too sure and i'm gonna lie nah i don't i don't got anything for that okay so that's that's the one thing that i i think because and and we're gonna know for sure a hundred percent of the way as soon as we see more back back uh, uh backstory fights the flashback scenes with him and bardock because i i swear if they go this whole arc with not showing us that fucking fight i'm gonna be so mad i will be so mad i feel like i want to see that more than the outcome of him versus granola right now we talking yeah. we talking about gas's new powers yo how wild would it be that <laughs> since you know we talking about the 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 rollback system of you know them writing the same shit over and over watch them give gas absorption bruh no oh so okay i'm thank I'm, thank you for bringing that up now because this is my second point that i wanted to talk about is that are you serious no 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 wait, wait, wait no no check it check it check, check. it's it's relatable it's relatable <laughs> when they make the wish of i want to be the strongest in the universe the way they wrote it in this fucking anime in this manga right now is like they automatically get every single move technique to their fucking liking whether they whether they use it well or not is irrelevant but the fact is they can just do it and that is crazy yeah that, that is pretty wild when you think about it <laughs> yep we saw imagine being able to use everything <laughs> well no because i mean look they we had two examples they both and it was from the both of them the one was instant transmission they were both using instant transmission and then the fact that vegeta called out that gas used something that looked like destruction i was like nah does this does that mean they could just they can they they can have they have access to any move that they just didn't didn't granola also use destruction a couple chapters ago you know i th I don't I'm pretty remember, sure but he I used he it did. back in Vegeta's face like, nah, yours isn't as potent as this. And then he exploded it. Yeah. It was like a bunch of rocks. You see what I mean? So, like, how do you feel about that? Like, I, I feel like I never, I, honestly, I never would have thought that that would have been a thing. Like, when I think strongest in the universe, I think, oh, you're just the strongest being. You're the strongest fighter. You will you can't lose to anybody type shit. But not I'm gonna now yeah. automatically just know how to do every fucking move under the sun. You see, like, I feel like Wait. that title needs to have more substance, though. Like, yeah. it needs to make sense. So, like, everything. Yeah. Like, whether it's like a move set, like, you literally, like you said, know every move, like, or if it's described as, like, you you have the ability to to gain certain power-ups in certain forms maybe like an ultra instinct like mastered for example like you have access to all of that like like it's like it needs to be more defined honestly i don't know yeah it's weird i agree <laughs> but because it's like it's like at this point right like from the information i kind of have gathered from y'all in a sense it's like 
it's like since they're the strongest in the universe like whoever wins or whatever the case maybe 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 it's like just a standoff i don't even know like but will it get to a certain point to where like beerus or like a god like you know like the gods of destruction or maybe even the angels like to step in to stop the fight or like to you know like do you think it'll ever get to that point i don't think so because like i mean i mean i don't know because like goku because if goku and vegeta can't essentially do anything in that and and inevitably win the fight themselves then like they're not even like the strongest in the in their own universe at that point <laughs> mm. so it's like like i don't like i don't know where this is going to be honest like with this like if you kind of get what i'm where i'm going with this it's like because gas and granola are the two strongest i guess in the universe at, right. at this point right so it's like but like how much stronger are they like is the question and then it's like is there is there a point to where like the god of destruction or like or the god of destruction aka Beerus in universe 7 or like a Whis or something like that to, to like they have to force like they're allowed essentially to 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 come down and fight or something to like kind of stop them shits I don't know, just because they're that powerful or something I don't know yeah even though they're not allowed to fight <laughs> but i don't i don't really know the exception to the rule like completely well that's see now that part the the exception to the rule comment that doesn't even fucking matter because we've seen before we've been told before that yeah they're not supposed to get involved but it's up to beerus realistically to destroy whatever he wants to destroy that's up that's up that's completely in his discretion it's really Whis that can't fight they 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 specifically made that rule for the angels they already explored that with the moral arc with miris right and right now when it comes down to this whole like idea or question of like will they get involved like will beers get involved I honestly don't think he will um because for one this dude's probably napping he don't he don't want to fucking do shit okay <laughs> and uh and and to be honest i mean by the definition both of these both of these guys right now should be stronger than even beerus because when you say strongest in the universe that would include them that would include Whis. that would also include probably Zenosama by that definition i wouldn't want mm. that to really but, but but when you have that definition that's kind of like you have to honor that definition well i mean when when you say strongest in the universe uh, i like i take it as they're the strongest in universe seven as like as whatever beings they're qualified as like since since there's rankings of god of destruction and angels and then Zenosama like that like i don't i wouldn't include them into that statement of being under the strongest in the universe if you kind of get what i mean yeah they i like, could i could i could see that i like, would put them being, in a separate category but see that's the thing though they never if it, it would all depend solely on the wording and how they made the wish if they if they made the wish saying uh i wish to be the strongest being in the universe i wish to be the strongest human in the universe i wish to be the strongest saiyan in the universe then that would mean that they would definitely just be the strongest of that class of person but since they didn't and they you know they just said they just want to be the strongest in the universe they just left it vague and at that that would probably just put them above the highest strongest person in that universe so like they, they definitely didn't say in all the universes they said in the universe they're in seven so that's the universe that they're referring to so i feel like i and honestly i feel like if it was to be the strongest in all of the universes i feel like that I don't know. I, I feel like the the two star Dragon Ball 
I'm sorry, the two star dragon wouldn't be able to do do that much. I feel like they'd have to use the super dragon balls for that. Yeah, that's a big wish. I I feel like at least. Yeah. I mean, they just gotta make or, it make sense. Or maybe they'll only have like two years to live. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that, yeah, and that's and that's the other thing that we still need to wait on and see. Like, what was the, like, like what what's the timeline? What's the sacrifice? You know, because we already know Granola, his he he basically what he he sacked what half his life or something like that for it to to be the strongest. It was half his life, yeah. Yeah, so he put he he put a time limit on his on his own life. Now we can assume that that Elik did the same on Granola, or on, on Gas, excuse me. But there's more to it. I feel like for Gas's wish, and especially since Elik is still up to some sneaky shit that we, that we don't know yet. <clears throat> so what that could be, I honestly have no clue, no clue. So they were they were forced to make the, a time limit if they asked for that wish. Uh, yeah, because the 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 two star dragon has limits, like it okay, has limits okay, as okay. to what so. kind of wishes it can make. And I guess if you're trying to do a wish like that powerful, you need to have some sort of <laughs> excuse me, some sort of exchange to I guess make it happen. Uh, at least they made it reasonable. <laughs> That's kind of that would be crazy. Yeah, I mean, it makes me wonder. Like, I wonder if what would happen if they use the seven. If they use Shenron, they use seven. Would I don't think they would have to make some kind of sack because I don't think any wish that they've ever made with Shenron, they've ever had to sacrifice anything. It's literally he can or he can't. Right. That's it. That's all the types of wishes that that can be done. And there's no like negotiation which is weird because how come a two star ball can technically do even can even it can get, do that much but then it comes at a price you know what i'm saying like it's weird <laughs> so yeah i mean they're gonna have to balance out whatever they're planning so because i mean i i mean this is this is just like, 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 cause Goku and Vegeta, they're on like, they're on hold, I'll say, in this arc from what it looks like. Cause like, Granola and Gas are just taking over the arc or whatever. So, I mean, and they put a time limit on them just, just cause of the wish. So, I mean, it's not going to last. <laughs> like, if they're going to die off, both of them in the arc type of thing, then, I mean, it'll, it'll be the Goku Vegeta show again. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, I mean, this is, yeah. And when you think about it like that, if especially if there's time limits, etc., whether they kill each other or not, or wh whether time limit expires, like once that happens, then Goku and Vegeta are, are kind of back on top again until a new villain comes. Well, if you want to put it that way. Um, yeah. That's kind of how I think about it. Yeah, I mean, either way, kind of similar to what Kai said in a in a previous episode like no matter what happens it doesn't matter <laughs> 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 because we already know what happens after and goku and vegeta are still kicking they're still chilling all the other characters that you would expect to see are still there too so you know it is what it is but was there was there something you were trying to add before kai where um in the middle of what we were just talking about with um with uh crap this whole this whole discussion of like uh you know the strongest in the universe and all that crap no i just i just i i hope that gas's wish is extra i hope that there's some different wording or you know a hidden part that we don't know about mm -hmm. some it can't be the same wish. That would be so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I agree with that. But yeah, all all the powers in all the powers in the universe since the transmission destruction, I mean hell, he could this man could get fucking Big Bang coming out of for all we care, right? Right. So why can't he have booze absorption? Watch him do some wild shit. Dude, <laughs> you imagine he had that? Imagine imagine if he was able to freaking absorb energy like Moro. Like Facts. That's what oh, I'm saying. Dude. 
dumb facts. He, yeah, like, <laughs> I just... Wow, what were they thinking when they made this? Like, strongest in the universe, why does that also equal they can do everything as well? To, to They're like, all right, we need we need a strong villain. What power should we give him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything. Like, that is crazy. Like, I don't What know. weapon should he wield with his powers? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, uh, well good old freaking dragon ball what are you what are you gonna do it's yeah, it's, it's gotten to this know. point but you know what though they they're taking a back seat in this chapter and by the looks of that new teaser it looks like they might be taking a back seat in the movie oh yeah oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah okay hold on hold on hold on so wait are so are we done talking about this because i could i could definitely we have some time to talk about the latest trailer that i think so Okay, you're, you're good on this chapter, Brandon. Is there anything I'm else good. that you, you want to question, ask, say, comment on? Uh, anything you, you, uh, you want to see? I want to see. I mean, sh more explanation <laughs> on, on what they're trying to do and where they're going to go with the story, I guess. Okay, fair. Because, like, I haven't seen it in a minute, so uh, I'm just listening, honestly. Okay, that's fair. But, yeah, yeah. Head to thewaypro.com and use my code Uchi10 to save 10% off the entire website. So, at this point, right, the only thing that's left to discuss is the fact that uh, just, just this past weekend, um, a little thing called Jump Festa, which I kind of forgot about because, I don't know, I didn't really, because la the last few years that I was following it hard, I didn't really get any, like, exciting announcements that i cared about yep right so this year i was just like you know what i'm i'm busy as it is i'm not gonna try to like stream this or whatever i'm chilling right maybe next year i will who knows that'll probably be fun either way we're not there yet but it gave us a trailer a new uh the second trailer for dragon ball super 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 hero okay and funny enough, this kind of relates to the topic that we're supposed to wait on our guest for, but I guess we could start talking about it. And we can, you know, of course, come back around to whenever they're joining us. But this trailer was short. It was like a minute long and it didn't really give us much new, but it did give me a little bit of an idea of what the plot is gonna be about and they show our boy gohan who is in the movie confirmed and he's not just a background character confirmed and he's actually gonna throw hands and with who <laughs> With Shark Boy. With with Shark Boy, the the who, who who these hero guys. We don't really know if they're villains or heroes or whatever. The, but 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 actually, with my little bit of Japanese that I do know, they are calling themselves superheroes. Superhero da. I I got that much. So, bro, wow. Shark Boys, bro. They couldn't come up with something better. Have you seen Have you seen what they look like? Like, do you know what they? Oh wait, you didn't see what they look like. No. Okay. Hold oh, on. I gotta. I right, please send it to him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. I gotta hear this live. Bro, this is gonna be like. Some I gotta hear this shit, live. No, no. Oh, it's worse. It's so much worse. Here, since it's so. And these are these are your villains. These are the villains yeah. for the 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 upcoming movie. How yep. the fuck are villains called superheroes? But that's well. That's the thing. We don't really know. That's why I said I don't know if they're really villains or not. But they're 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 the antagonists of the movie. So. You go watch that really quick. It's only like, like I said, it's only like fifty something seconds long, a minute long, and uh, and, and 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 you'll see. So I'll I'll keep talking while he watches that. Uh, Wait, not. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You want to say something? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I wanna I wanna drop some knowledge I have stored up here before half of it goes away. <laughs> okay, so, good. <laughs> so some some things I wanted to say about this trailer teaser whatever the fuck you want to call it right so gohan's in here confirmed woo great awesome yeah. whatever so these guys are they superheroes or are they super villains we don't know it is mm. what it is mm. right? right but at first at first glance i was definitely saying these are the guys that they're trying to fight these are the villains i definitely called that shit i was waiting for that to drop right, so right. that's fire 
Okay. Now, what I think happened based on what I saw in that one minute, I'm just spitballing. Red Ribbon Army is back again once again. Hmm. They're trying to run a monopoly on fucking estates or just land in general or something. And now Piccolo can't live in his mountain. So they're like, nope, you're about to get you're about to get evicted. Leave your mountain. <laughs> Some shit goes down there. Maybe Piccolo was training Pan up there. Because she's up there meditating. Look like she's trying to go Super Saiyan at age two. Facts. So... I, I don't know what's up with that, but Piccolo's probably training her on some on some strong shit. So if she's up there and then you know he gets evicted, some you know, some crazy shit goes down with Piccolo potentially getting arrested or whatever. You know, Pan comes to the rescue, she's trying to be his superhero. She gets in trouble. Now Gohan gotta step in. Right. Now it's a problem. Now you fuck with the fan. Right. Okay. If you fucking think <laughs> Gohan is gonna do some crazy shit in this movie. Y'all got me fucked up, man. I seen the trailer, man. You know, it's first of all, they crazy. gotta take it's this not. nigga's glasses off. They already got it. They already <laughs> fucked up. Number two, they they got this man wearing the piccolo cape. What? Who does he think he is wearing the piccolo cape? Stick to your own shit, man. Stick with the purple suit. I'm cool with that. But man, oh man. I don't know. I don't know. Anything else? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how strong that villain's gonna be, but if Gohan's fighting him, he's probably not that fucking strong, bro. So, well, <laughs> that's unfortunately sad, but it, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Can't blame you for thinking that. But, Yo. but, here, but, but, here, so, as to what Wakai was saying, I knew we were gonna be pretty much aligned with the, the what we thought this plot was about to be. Oh, okay. really? Oh, yeah. I you the, the only difference though is that you made it about them trying to for some reason take his fucking small spot of a mountain on top of literally this band lives right next to a waterfall like what the fuck are you gonna do with that seriously you know i'm just trying to i'm just trying to think logically as to what the fuck the weak ass red ribbon army gonna try to do up in here with these gods like right. the only thing they can do is use their money exactly like so so right because this movie already has some very wholesome slice of life literally down to the human level of whatever like there's there's not intergalactic nothing like it is just plain jane as possible like this is like your your typical like 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 uh like soft serve like us uh, you know like give <laughs> you force it, yo not, then no he's right he's right. yeah like <laughs> it, look at the fucking <laughs> look at the fucking picture this man's doing doing yeah. the, yo, the you one even got gildo on the bottom right yeah, yeah, like, they yeah, got lookalikes yeah. up in here man that's true so Shit. that's what i mean like it's it's funny though because like you know if goku and vegeta are out here taking a back seat whatever goku's training broly piccolo's out here like please help me fight uncle sam goku's like oh that's a fight i can't help you win sorry i imagine but imagine if, if he has a line like nah you guys got it that'd be great i would i would that'd be really fun well honestly that. if gohan's fighting this man then goku probably says you got it bud like dude's probably i too feel weak. like I feel like he wouldn't. I feel like he wouldn't say that, or wouldn't get to that point because some female character would yell at him. I feel like the excuse has got to be that there's no one to take him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so. Okay. Yeah. So back to what I was trying to say before was that my my only thing aside from the the landscaping problem <laughs> was <laughs> was that. I feel like this plot is gonna be a training movie, right? Because we got Goku training with Broly. It also looked like Goku and Vegeta were also training on Whis's Ble or Beerus's planet, wherever the fuck yeah, that is at sure. some point, just because of the backdrop from where they were at. Clearly looks different from how Earth is set up. And then like we see Pan training, probably with Piccolo, who knows? Piccolo is that guy to train with. Cause like, like father, like daughter, I guess in this, in this situation, <laughs> you know, he trained Gohan. Now it's Pan's turn. And honestly, that's kind of cool. I like that. That's kind of godlike. And 
much similarly to you know your situation i feel like something is going to happen where they take out piccolo and then they either kidnap pan i feel like they're gonna kidnap her right for sure so when now that i'm saying all this out loud with you guys you know what i'm fucking now thinking dude they are taking raditz and cell and combining both points in one movie because this is literally going to be gohan is going to be goku in this situation where he's going to try to reclaim his abandoned child or not abandoned his 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 kidnapped child and then he is going to be the one to i, I you know i'm sure he's gonna throw hands or whatever but then at the same time they're gonna they're gonna throw us a double whammy Pan's gonna come out she's gonna just like how we gohan did out the freaking oh, pod she's gonna bust out the car she, in her cuffs she, yeah she's gonna oh yeah she's gonna bust out that freaking car whatever they whatever yeah. they got her in and she's gonna throw hands and then they're she's gonna the have superhero the, yo they're gonna have a father daughter moment and they're gonna you honestly think yeah and they're gonna do the kamehameha together and yeah. that you is your movie boom yep if gohan needs pan to beat these fucking <laughs> no, 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 no. it's not that he needs her it's just it's but gonna he happen will get her yes it's just, that's just how it's gonna be that's just this guy's gonna happen. He's yeah, like, and, you, and how you know if Broly's in this movie? I didn't see him in the trailer. Okay, so bro, oh, he's in there. Yeah, is that speculation? No, 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 no. He's he's one, no, it's he's not. There. He is one hundred percent in that trailer. Mm. Brand, you think? Is it like the planet they're on or some shit? Yes. He's there for a single frame. You can't miss it. Yes. If you mm -hmm. so so here's the thing. So uh, there's a part in the middle of the trailer. If you pause it and then you use comma and period key on your keyboard you can actually uh go back and forth frame by frame and you can you can literally see broly trying to punch down on goku so he's what he, he's he's confirmed he's been confirmed for months at this point so Word. so so yeah so there's your movie right there that's what's gonna like ultimately happen the only reason why they're even showing goku vegeta a little freaking hint of broly in there is to essentially try to get people a little bit more interested the fact that they showed us gohan and they showed him looking like he was gonna be he was gonna go full serious mode and also it's not just that they're using gohan but it's how they're using gohan Keep this man's haircut and his whole fit. They're trying to bring us back to sell because the hairdo is the way he had it cut during sell when he was young boy. He has the piccolo cape on again. Like, bro, that is the Gohan that people love and 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 what they what they remember him that people like to say that that is peak gohan despite him getting ultimate gohan or you know or uh however the however the japanese term for it was uh, when when the supreme kai or the the grand kai freaking uh unlocked his his shit reading freaking uh comics at the same time all right they, yeah. they, people like to remember cell gohan as peak gohan and you know i don't even blame people to be honest because these these were gohan highlight moments and funny enough i was actually watching geekdom this man i don't i hope he doesn't he, i hope he never gets in trouble for this but he's literally been streaming actual episodes of dragon ball z on his twitch and like doing and providing like commentary and breaking things down and like helping people not even just remember but to understand the depth of these moments in dragon ball z history and honestly i'm glad he's kind of doing it because it's it's refreshing my mind and i'm just like yo like obviously like after all these years we remember the the, the happenings of you know all of the key points and all throughout the story but then when you re -see, when you revisit it and you watch it again i'm like damn bro like this cell shit was crazy like like cell was way more od than how i remembered him and gohan even was that much more od because the the reason why i want to bring this up is because back then 
Gohan was so strong. Okay, he was so strong to the point where he really was the strongest one out of all of them. He was the only dude who could actually defeat Cell. Like, literally. It didn't, it wasn't because of a distraction from Vegeta. It wasn't because of the distraction from any of the other people like Piccolo, Yamcha, Krillin, Tien that tried to help Gohan. The only reason why they even decided to do that was so that as warriors as fighters they would rather die trying or just put in any effort than just stand idly by and just watch them all like die together they'd rather die as fucking fighting warrior not bitches okay and when gohan saw that it took the likes of vegeta to even help him to, to throw in a little bit of an assist, which, by the way, reminder, didn't really do shit to Cell. Because again, that is how strong Cell was. This guy was in his super perfect fucking form. He, he literally, like, was better than what he was moments previous to when he reju rejuvenated himself. Even after all that, Gohan was still the only person that could get it done. And it took Goku to be in his head and to remind Gohan, say, Gohan, stop worrying about the earth and everyone around you. You're holding back. Just let it go. Let it all out. Freaking unload on this guy. Pause. <laughs> and he freaking, <laughs> and as soon as he said that, that's what really did it. It was never an assist that helped Gohan defeat Cell. It was the, the only assist was the words of his own dad telling him, do you can now. do this. <laughs> do it now, go on. Dude, yeah. you can do this. But but you, 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 realize, you realize when he said do it now, Gohan, it was when, like, essentially Vegeta did that assist move and blah, 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 boom, boom. But yeah, yes, but, but, but again, like, it was always Gohan's strength. And, and 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 realistically a lot of people and myself included i i it's funny because i haven't seen that scene in years i always had in my mind that goku went down there and actually did the kamehameha with him but real but in reality it was gohan the entire time they just had goku there as like a a spiritual representation like metaphorical that he was there with him guiding him fighting with him the entire time but no, don't, that, that, that did not happen. Mm -hmm. It didn't happen, bro. Mm -hmm. The closest thing to whenever that shit happened was when they did it in Broly 2. Broly 2. And baby. when, and, and when, <laughs> and when, and when, and when, and when, and when Go, and when, no, I'm sorry, and when Trunks and Vegeta had the double gallic gun. That's the closest shit we ever had to actual father son shit. Father son see, the, the huh, was just an imagination. The, yo, the, the difference in Broly 2 was that. Like Goku literally like dropped I from the fucking was area. Here. Yes. Right. <laughs> and he yeah, and he he spit out the Kamehameha next to him and shit. Together! With Goten. Yeah, that shit was dope that as shit fuck. Was you heard how God. triggered oh Broly was when he saw he was like, Kakarot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. That was like hit. That was the that was his distraction right there. The, the yeah, distraction. he got thrown off his game. He was like, no way. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean they're bringing it back, man. They're trying to bring, they're trying to help people remember, or, or they're trying they're trying to deviate people from feeling like this movie is about to be garbage. Like they want people to see it, right? <laughs> and they and they're throwing anything that they can, and they're gonna be like, all right, you know what? Let's put going in there. Let's put them in the old gi. Let's put them in the let's give them the old haircut. You know what I'm right. saying? And, and 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 let's get let's get serious. Let's get serious. I mean. I don't think he's gonna have a new form. Hell no. I don't think he's that not out. gonna do anything special. No, no. Negative. Negative. No. But it, but hey, <laughs> it will be cool though, because again, this is our first. Because look, look 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 at this arc. Look at this <laughs> chapter that we just had. Goku and Vegeta taking a back seat. Goku and Vegeta taking a back right. seat in this movie. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Hey, hey. Good timing for both of them. Hey, so. hey, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's a good time. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. You know what, though? You know what, though? With Broly hiding within the frame of the frame. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With Broly hiding out there. With Pan trying to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> with 
us a long time ago talking about Oob, who's now no longer existent anywhere in this movie, and I don't think will be anywhere in this movie. Do you think that that means that Gohan is the surprise character? If he's the real super, if he's the superhero? No, no, no. Like they said that there was a, like there was a surprise character that that um was gonna be in the movie. Oh. Like someone. Mm -hmm. Nah. And remember, at, at one point we thought it was gonna be Oob because of the way the manga was leading up everything. So, well, I I, I can see why you yeah I can see why you're thinking that. So that's what I'm saying. Like if it's if it, if they already teased Broly for no reason, literally for no reason, they could have left him out in the dust. <laughs> if they already teased Broly, I doubt it would be him. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to be Oob anymore based on just the more they release, it just it doesn't add up. Right. Right. Gohan hasn't done shit in the longest time, so them trying to revamp him into his younger form, you think that's the surprise that we've been waiting for? Dude, you know what? You might be onto something. I feel like that it could be at it. Listen, listen. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, bro. <laughs> They're gonna have to do a whole lot of shit. This nigga's gonna have to retire his job, his <laughs> career. To. To, to make up the work he missed. Yo, Brandon just doesn't want him to have a job. Pa <laughs> that's that's passion behind that voice. That's, this is passion. This, this is this is all the years of pain that we've had to see Gohan go through, bruh. The what? Literally. <laughs> no, 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 that's your pain. That's not his pain. That's the people's he, pain. He's been chilling. Let's be real. He's been fine. Nah, Seven been years slacking. of peace? Seven years Shit, of peace? If I can... Bro, <laughs> come on. Seven years of peace? Think about it. Nah, man. Seven years of peace. He's been fine. He, he he's had a normal life ever since he defeated Cell, and then after that, that's when it went back to being downhill. But again, you know, he he don't have to worry about nothing because good old Grandpa Goku and uh, Grandpa Uncle Vegeta can take care of everything because they're that strong, and he can worry about his family. You know. Yeah, but even if that's the case, man, like, like, there's always there's always this one, I mean, I mean, this is Dragon Ball here, so you can't really be hypothetical <laughs> about it and realistic. But there's always that one. There's always that like one time, like where like everything goes, everything goes to shit or whatever the case may be. You could you could call, you could say Goku Vegeta died or something. Who's next up? This nigga, this nigga's power level is fucking like two thousand at this point. Wow. 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 Like, <laughs> 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 like, like compared, compared to, compared to where Goku and Vegeta are right now, man. Like, Gohan wouldn't be able to step up, like, like realistically. I like, don't they know, need. Man. Do you, yeah. you understand what type of buff this man needs to get? <laughs> <laughs> to like actually have a chance against any type of villain like he would like bah, like dude these Beerus are not villains these are these are cartoon trailer boys facts they're... oh no i'm not even talking about the movie at this point i'm talking about <laughs> after the movie like if they're actually if because if, the, the whole conversation started with maybe they're trying to revamp gohan well shit if they're trying to revamp gohan they gotta put in a lot more work into the man well like they, they to actually somewhere. To actually put some respect they on do, the man's name, because they do have to start somewhere. Yeah, they gotta start somewhere, Brandon. They can't just. So they they gotta they gotta start with some dweebs. Listen, some listen. Goons. If yes. they if they have to start with fucking dweebs, they gotta start with dweebs. The point <laughs> is, there's no Goku or Vegeta in sight. Okay, and that that is the big takeaway. That is what people should be excited for, because we've been seeing these two freaking guys taking over everybody they, to the point where they're stealing each other's kills it's like they're trying to play freaking halo and they're out here just stealing each other's <laughs> kills they don't care they're saying they're just trying to get the perfect win okay but they gotta start somewhere and if it and if it takes this vi 3d cgi video game head ass dead ass looking freaking movie <laughs> then so be it this is the start and after that they can take it in another direction or continue in this direction so long as gohan is involved and they go back to that where it's like the dynamic from where it was like goku and gohan becomes gohan and pan and i'm okay with that i'm totally uh. okay with that let goku just kind of ride in the sunset with vegeta man let, let him go up there with shenron together i don't care 
if they go up together. <laughs> Let them be with beers and weeds. I don't care. Okay. We've seen them for 30 years and their time is far past. They're at the highest peak of power that they could ever fucking reach. Let, let, let's let let's bring it back down a little bit. Let's go back to let's go, let's go back to Gohan. Let Gohan be the superhero in Pan's eyes. And then let Gohan say, and let, let, them, let them have that moment. And she, oh, Tosa! Go, like, Daddy, who's your superhero? And he says, Piccolo. Perfect. Bruh. Let that shit happen. Let it happen. Let it fucking happen. Piccolo. Yeah, because, yo, that's, that's, Go, that's Gohan's dude, son. Listen, he knows Goku know. is his dad. But, yo, when it comes down to, to other cat, other fatherly figures... Come on I know now. Piccolo is there. Yes, yes. I can't. I'm not denying it. I'm just saying. Like, bah. like think, <laughs> think about it. Look, look, look. I know this is not canon, or psh, whatever. I don't care. I know people like to say this is not canon, but think about the moment in G Tizzle when the planet was about to fucking blow up and they had to relocate. And what did Piccolo that was do? Depressing. That was so sad, so unnecessary. That was so extra for no fucking reason. It was so stupid, but they did it anyway. Piccolo stayed back. Gohan. Piccolo, no! He was <laughs> yeah. bawling his eyes out, crying, son. They go on. I Gohan remember that he shit. I Gohan. remember that low key vividly, man. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. Come on now, where are you at? He didn't even have that same reaction when Goku fucking blew himself up for sale. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Bro. Are we spitting facts? Are we spitting facts? This is some real shit right here. Piccolo's that dude. All memes aside, he's that dude in Gohan's life, bro. That's a man. It's the That's superhero. True. I don't know. He wears a cape too. Oh my God, it's perfect. It's going to happen. I can see it's now. Now it's going to happen. I've wished it to in existence. It's going to happen. Listen, we're probably going to see Super Saiyan 2. I don't even know if this guy goes like mystic anymore or whatever. <laughs> Fucking mystic. Or, or, is, it, is, it, is, it, is that what they call it? Or it's no. ultimate, right? It's, it's, uh, ultimate. It's, it's ultimate. It's mystic in the video games. It's... It's Gohan Blanco. Gohan Unlocked. I don't fucking what know. What the fuck? <laughs> You gotta check the. You, see, gotta, check, gotta, check the you gotta check the Daisenshu. You gotta take check the Daisenshu. That's the official. Uh... We just need Gohan to get his new form. Nah, bro. Like then we need more than that. We need him to take off the glasses. We need him to retire. Whatever job this man actually got. Oh my god. Then we need him. To, we need him full time training. If yo yo, if he's gonna take the responsibility <laughs> of Universe Seven, <laughs> <laughs> he's not. He's not working no more. <laughs> this man's put. This man got billions already. He's what? What they got? They, what, what's his fucking name with the afro? Fucking Hercule? Hercule? They they got that nigga's bag. <laughs> they got they got well, they got his cash on the sidelines, man. <laughs> that is that is grandpa to pay. <laughs> like like they're stacked. He don't need to work. <laughs> they're best friends with Bulma and Doctor Briefs and related. Listen, to listen, Hercules that's bloodline. very true. Like they got, they have the two they, richest families in their whole franchise, fact, and they still universe. out here working. That is true. Exactly. That don't make true. fucking sense. Ah, <sighs> well, okay. With with all that said, all right. I I can now say, officially, I am. And I, you know what? Now I could I should add this. After talking with you two fine gentlemen about this, <laughs> I am now officially looking forward to seeing this movie. Before I didn't really care. Now I am more interested just because of what I would like to see happen and the fact that Goku and Vegeta are not gonna have prominent roles in this film. That makes me that much more excited. But again, it's probably you know realistically it, it's probably not going to be like it, it we're not it's not like we're going to see anything that we haven't seen before so whatever but we gotta start I somewhere was not i was not excited to see it at all and now i am slightly excited to see it like now i'm not going to loathe walking into the movie theater i'll put it that way right right right, because right, right. this is still some slice of life shit to me this is still some you know sideline this is some sideline shit to me that's how i'm going to put it okay right and that's just how i feel about it but you know what i'm sick because how how are we really out here on this podcast not getting paid with how we just wrote this potential movie to be? Talking about Piccolo's landscape area, Pan yeah. getting captured, busting out the car like Raditz, like in the Raditz <laughs> saga, Yo, like all you. that shit. It's like gonna we wrote happen. this whole fucking movie. It's gonna happen. Father daughter command man ending. Like come on. Oh yeah. 
when does this movie start? It comes April. out April 22nd in Japan. Um, we don't know if it's worldwide release uh, yet or not, but I don't think it. Would, they usually do it like what a week after or some shit. A month, if that. Sometimes, sometimes it's a month. Sometimes it's, it's usually that range, a week to a month. But yeah, I figure like a month after. We got lucky with Broly because they got Japan got it in December, officially, and then we got it in January, like that following January. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But is there any other? things you guys want to throw out there in the world any socials or whatever you want to leave with the people at home before we sign off officially for this episode stay fresh no. stay clean that's it <laughs> no, i'm good i'm good all right so i know we didn't go over any uh comments um but we'll leave those for the following episode so we'll have a lot more to talk about because there is some plenty plenty of opinions that people were sharing about the movie uh in particular so we'll have plenty we'll, we'll leave the next episode to be kind of like uh going over comments and questions and whatnot that you guys have been saying about the movie and the chapter that came out so with all that being said guys make sure you are liking sharing subscribing here on the youtube version make sure you are answering the poll questions on the spotify version because any feedback is better than no feedback at all and if you guys want to hear any specific topics or if you have any you know specific comments questions of your own that you want to hear on this full power podcast hit us up at fullpowerpod at gmail.com that is fullpowerpod at gmail.com it's been the homie kai brother ooch and your boy ooch signing off Take care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this podcast. And I'll see y'all next time.